Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek. And today we are gonna be checking out some posts from Chad Rook. These came out a while ago. I think some of them were before my uh, operation last month. And then I think some of them came after my operation <laughs> uh, or around that time. I, I can't remember exactly when these popped up, but luckily I saved them all. And I made a note to, you know, to make a video about this. Cause I, you know, obviously my memory has been crappy lately. So, uh, so I wanted to make sure I got on top of this. So today we have some cool images that Chad shared with us. So the first one here, it says, I have arrived, hashtag Raccoon City. I just thought it was cool. You know, he worked with Robbie Amell, obviously he plays Chris Redfield. So there was, you know, an image there and I'll repop it up here, if, you know, if it's already played. Um, but yeah, there's just been a lot of cool stuff. You saw, like I said, close-ups of guns, uh, you know, that Richard has where he's like, I want to play. You can see some boots in the background of, of one of those images. And then speaking of boots, there's blood on one of the images of the boots uh, too, where, you know, Chad wrote a little something over it. And and I like that because he did Resident Evil or hashtag Resident Evil and hashtag reshoot, which I thought was awesome because I kind of did that in my video uh, as well. And I'm uh, I'm not saying he got it for my video, but it's just normally when I see the letters RE next to each other, I usually capitalize them. And then anything else that comes after I lowercase um, or I put the RE in like a different color um, than the, you know, the, the rest of the word, you know, so like if it's like remember re will be capitalized and in a different color <laughs> that's typically how i do it um so it was just cool to see him have so much fun because he's honestly uh, been one of the things i've been most interested in getting me excited for this movie is the amount of fun he's having and he has already proven chad rook that he is a longtime resident evil fan and he even during the reshoots was playing resident evil games and showing like you know images of him playing resident evil 2 remake and stuff like that so i just i don't know i like this guy a lot i like his passion for this i like that he is uh, playing a character like richard and yet is so into it we talk about that all the time on venom vlog where you know a character like eddie brock you know, some actors wouldn't give that character, you know, they, they would look down at them. They'd read some of the comics that probably aren't so good, you know, and they'd be like, oh, this is this is a terrible character. I don't see any potential here. But Tom really brought that character to another level. And that's what happens when actors really see the potential of their characters and see what's come before and, and say, all right, here's what I can add to it. And I think that's great. And, and so I'm pumped to see Richard Aiken, a character that I never had one thought or another of like i'm just like okay he's on the cover of the first game and he's you know a character in the first game that is kind of like selfless and you know saves you know what depending on which you know scenario you play he saves chris or jill um at a very crucial moment um so he's a very selfless guy who's you know who is gets injured you know he's uh, you know gets bit by the giant snake um or eaten by the shark or you know both in a lot of cases and he's just I, but past that, I never really thought of him too much. And now that we have Chad playing him, I'm interested. I'm actually interested in the character, and I'm interested to see what Chad brings to the role. And, you know, everything from reshoots to ADR, you know, that's what he was working on. And he's pumped. He's like, you know, you guys are not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. And he even showed an image, even though he warped it a little bit, of, uh, of the actual star's vest which is really cool, like the tan vest um, with stars printed on the back. And again, it's it's a little, like he added a little uh, effect to it so he didn't like give everything away, you know, but it was still cool to see it and it's hanging on a hook and, uh, and you get to see the, you know, the stars printing on the back and how it's going to look. And I don't know, just seeing that, it's almost like uh, for me, you know, being a comic book fan, it's like seeing the bat symbol or like the Superman symbol or something like that. You know, it, the stars is just so iconically part of Resident Evil and the lore and the universe that seeing it like this is great because we went through six Resident Evil movies, I think before. And the second one, you saw a really small star patches on some of the um, some of the police officers that were you know in the movie that got killed by Nemesis, and I think Jill had like a little patch somewhere, but you know he barely saw it ever. So to me, seeing it this prominent and seeing stars on the back there is just like, all right, I, that's just cool to me. It's like it's like I don't know the other movies. I'm like, why would you put people in this movie that are stars members and then make their patches like small? That's like making. A small Superman S on his chest. Like, why would you do that? Stars are a part of this world, and that you know you need to showcase that. And this feels like a really positive showcase. So I'm excited. I'm, I really am for this movie. Uh, of course, I have my fears of it, and I, I have my worries because it feels like a lot of characters at once. Like fan films do that. Fan films are like, hey, we'll take Resident Evil one and two characters and mix them together, and so that worries me a little bit. But I'm hoping that they they structure this 
well in a way to where I don't like I at least me personally and maybe I can't speak for everyone but at least to where I see that okay this can work um right now I'm not sold maybe we'll see what the trailer you know I'm not sold fully I'm excited for the movie because we're going to see a lot of these characters that we haven't seen done some of them not done at all and some of them not done well you know, we're going to finally see them on screen. We're going to see the Spencer Mansion. We're going to see the RPD. But Resident Evil is more than just those things. And so, uh, you know, I, of course I have my concerns. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to be excited when I see someone's enthusiasm like Chad Rook here and how pumped he is to play this part that I think most other people would not even, you know, pay much attention to. They'd get the role and like, oh, it's just a job. But Chad is, like, really into it. And that's, as fans, that's what we could that's more than we could hope for is someone who actually knows who Richard is and, uh, and is a fan of the universe. And that's fantastic. And so I hope that uh, that passion translates and makes him a fun character to watch on screen. So let me know what you think of these images about the ADR, about, um, you know, the, the fact that they did reshoots and they're done now. And now they're back to just editing this movie. Um, you know, reshoots have been wrapped up, but I wanted to at least cover this, even though I'm really late on it. I wanted to cover it and bring it to you guys to get your thoughts. So let it be known down below so I can uh, continue to have a conversation with you down there. And also, very next, the very next episode of this uh, will be our retro, uh, Resident Evil Retribution commentary, finally. Uh, I'm actually going to re-record it tonight because uh, I'm in a Resident Evil mood tonight. So I'm recording a bunch of videos for this channel again, and I will get that up to you guys You know, in a, within the next day or two. You'll get that full um, commentary track for Resident Evil Retribution for the one or two of you that are waiting for it. Uh, but thank you so much. Let me know what you think down below. And like I said, we'll continue talking down there. Thanks for watching the show as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in Raccoon City. Peace.